Don't look half bad. I'm gonna hole right through it. Howdy friends, I'm Joe. For those of you that don't know, I'm a general contractor and I'm preparing for a, a job. As you can see all my tools back there maybe. And one of the things I noticed as I was getting ready, uh, it's gonna be involving some digging on this project. And my Maddox isn't doing too good. The handle's all floppy. Kinda see it's all chewed up and just not doing too good. So, decided to get a new handle. So let's uh, head on up to the shed and uh, let's do some interesting things to this thing. See if we can't uh, make it better than it is. Come along. So one of the first things I wanna do while I got the handle off is kind of clean this edge up here. Make it a little bit easier digging if it's a little sharper, got rid of some of those dents. So let's hit those real quick. Let me just start off on the back side. That's better, nothing too exciting, just, uh, just kind of knocked off the, uh, the high spots. So the next thing I'm looking to do is, you can tell, pound this down, from looking at this, that first of all, it's sitting way up. And second, I'm not sure if you can see that, there's big gaps in here. And it's touching here and, and here, but there's kind of gaps on the side. So I wanna take some off these edges here and see if I can't get this thing to fit a little better inside there. So what I'm gonna do now is just hit this with the sander try and just take off these areas that I marked. Still needs work. Looks like I barely even touched it. I don't know. It's gonna take some time. See those marks there? It tells me where it's hitting. So I'll just take some more off of those areas. She's looking better. I think if we just keep doing that, we'll figure it out. Let's say it's getting there. I'd say we're there. I'm not gonna get it perfect. I'm just gonna beat this thing on the ground anyway. Next up, I got a real good one for this thing. So while I'm still in here with the sand, you can see the color difference here. The, they varnish this or something, really light varnish, not compared to when they dip them. This isn't really, not what I'm going for. So we'll, uh, we'll sand that off real quick.
looks pretty good to me. <coughs> Feels good too. That's the spoon. Oh, that's nice. Feels good. So what I, up next for this thing, I'm gonna put in uh, a barrel bolt and nut set. Focus, there it is. So barrel bolt, barrel nut. So I'm gonna put that right at the base here. Let's give it a shot, see what happens. All right, since we're all new with this, I'll find center, what I think is center. Okay. And I'll take this, this edge right here, just touch in there. The reason I did this rather than like a hex bolt and uh, is because I want to get it right up against the head here and those you wouldn't be able to tighten it because you would have the the hex part kind of catching on the top here so next up find the right drill bit the way I do that I'll take whatever I'm drilling for and fit it into the index well that was a good guess there that one fits pretty loose, not too loose, but just enough. I'm gonna find center, eyeball center, of that mark I just made. Straight, this thing's sitting at an angle, so I'm gonna Kicking this way a bit. Well, that don't look half bad. I'm gonna hole right through it. So it popped out the other side there, which isn't good because this thing, the end here stops right at the end of there. I have an idea. We'll get the hacksaw, cut the tip of this thing off. But first, this thing's a little bit thicker here than that bolt. So let's open this other side up just a hair. Okay, one more thing I want to do to this before I put that bolt through. So the next thing I want to do to this is uh, put some boiled linseed oil on the handle. <clears throat> it's gonna last a lot longer. It, like re-moisturizes the wood. To be completely honest, I have to give a, a tip of the cap to uh, Mr. Wrangler Star on this one. So, we'll do it just like he does it. Grab a handful of this stuff. Put it on there. You know, putting all this time into this thing, maybe, uh, maybe this time I'll take care of it. Instead of leaving it outside like I did the other one there. Just kind of gives me a, 
some reason to take care of it because I put all that time into it and drilled these holes and every time I grab it, I'll think, oh, that was kind of a neat idea. Let me just get a little bit down there. Make sure this top is good and saturated. I don't think you can put too much of this stuff on. Grab the head here. Oh, she's a beauty. I can't wait to put this thing to work tomorrow. Put some of that oil on there. Let's let that soak for a minute. We'll try this bolt, see how she does. Put a mark on this. Hopefully I can see it. No, not really, but I think I know where it was. When I said hacksaw, I meant bandsaw. So much easier. Good little tip when you're using a bandsaw is to spin your thread when you're cutting. That way your cut ends in the middle of the bolt rather than on the side because then you, you have a really hard time getting your nuts on. Okay. All right. Bolt goes there. Oh yeah. The Allen wrench real quick. Oh, that's a thing of beauty. I don't have to worry about it falling down at all. One more coat of oil. That thing's too cool. Every time I grab it, it's just gonna be, oh, that's a nice tool right there. Something to be proud of. Well, that's all I got for you today. Thanks for watching. We'll see you on the next one.